Italy started reopening this week, but fears of the coronavirus remain, especially among older people. The country has the second oldest population of any nation in the world. Volunteers in Venice are finding a unique way to get supplies to those who need it. Chris Livesay traveled there to show us how a group of female gondoliers are rowing up to help. Throughout this pandemic, getting groceries has been difficult for all of us, especially the elderly. Well, here in the city of Canals, volunteers have found a solution that couldn't be more Venetian. These aren't your typical gondolas, and these aren't your typical gondoliers. All women, not one but two to a boat. And instead of serenading tourists, they're delivering organic food to locals. Farmers from around the lagoon load the orders aboard. Julia Tagliapietra, a competitive rower, says she and the others were stuck at home, unable to train for racing season during the coronavirus lockdown. It's a bit difficult, so now we do this like twice or three times a week. And it also helps us because we can go out and breathe and row. Her city has been drowning. This past fall saw the worst flooding in a generation. As it was struggling to recover, COVID-19 struck, killing a relative few, but decimating the main industry here, tourism, while forcing the elderly to shelter at home. This in a city that shrunk from more than 170,000 people after World War II to just over 50,000 today as mass tourism pushes living costs up and locals out. Venetians truly are an endangered species and these food deliveries are just one way of helping save them from extinction. Rain or shine, gondoliers deliver at drop-off points around the city. So you think this is really important? Quindi lei pensa che sia molto importante queste consegne? Importante, sì. Yes, says this customer. And it's so inspiring to see it delivered in a traditional Venetian boat. Food isn't the only thing they need. In this city with no cars, volunteers also deliver medicine by foot. It saved your life. Yes. Me with my broken arm, she says, and my 90-year-old mother. She calls volunteer Marco Cabarellotto her angel. In the end, it could be your grandparents, uh, it could be your elderly aunt or a family member. So you find lonely people that maybe sometimes need also uh, someone who's friendly with them, someone who's caring somehow, and uh, it feels very nice. Delivering food, medicine, and also solidarity sí, gracias, gracias. to a battered city with an unsinkable way of life. And the volunteers want to continue delivering food even after the lockdown. They say it's good for the body and good for the soul. Chris Livesay, CBS News, Venice. Yeah, as Chris says, such a Venetian way to solve the problem. My favorite city in the world, Gail. Everybody wonders about that painting behind me. It's the scene of Venice. There's a reason it's there. Hmm. Yeah, I get why it's your favorite city in the world. There's no place like it. Now, once again, it's another example, Tony, of people stepping up, going above and beyond the call of duty. It's happening all over the world. That's a great one. And I love that it was all women, too. I like that part of the story. Yes. Yeah, very cool. You know, they're up there on the canal, and they've got a boat, they've got an oar, places to go, things to deliver. It's working. I like yeah. it a lot. It's a beautiful scene. Oh,